let's continue with the UJT or Unijunction Transistor. Now, so far we have discussed uh, Shockley, SCR, Diax, uh, Triax, and SES, and all of them can be considered as members ng Terrestor family. But the UJT is not a member of the Terrestor family. No? So from the word palang na Unijunction, so we know that Terrestors has three junctions, but a UJT has only one junction, no? so Unijunction. So the term unijunction refers to the fact that the UJT only has one junction. As you can see, this is the layer diagram of the unijunction transistor, or UJT. So the P is surrounded by the N, and that becomes the, the only junction of P and D to sa ating UJT. And this UJT does not belong to the thyristor family because it only has one junction, but it has three terminals. No? That's why it's considered as a transistor, but it's not really a transistor because it's not a PNP or NPN device. No? It's a PN device. There is a diode because it has three terminals. So, kaiba talaga si UJT. No? So, the terminals of the UJT are referred as the emitter, the base 1, and the base 2. So, itong tatlang to, emitter, the base 1, and the base 2. No? So the schematic symbol for the UJT looks like this. As you can see, para siyang uh, transistor na tinatawag natin na JFET. No? So para siyang JFET. So the only difference ng UJT and uh, JFET is that yung arrow natin dito sa JFET is straight lang talaga. No? Whereas sa UJT, naka-curve siya. No? So, or naka, hindi naka-curve, naka-diagonal. No? So that's the difference between a FET and uh, UJT. Now, the, the electrical representation using components ng ating UJT looks like this. So, meron tayong PN junction dito that could be represented by the diode. Then, we have the impedance to the base 2 and base 1 uh, represented by the RB1 and RB2. So, that becomes our electrical uh, representation that could really help us analyze how the UJT really works. Huh? So these are the things that we should learn here, no? the cutoff region, negative resistance region, saturation region, the peak point, then the intrinsic standoff. Okay, so let's turn on. No? So turn on. Let's turn on your UJT. So how do we turn on your UJT? So to turn on your UJT is actually to apply a voltage here known as the VE. So mag-apply tayo ng voltage dito from emitter to base 1. So we'll put a voltage here and we'll try and figure out how and when will it turn on. No? So the VE here is, let's say it's variable VE. No? So as we increase the VE, so let's increase the VE, there will be no significant IE. So kung mapapasin, baliktad na yung ating graph. No? The VE is now at the Y axis and the IE is on the uh, X axis. So we will let this as IE. Okay, so as, the, as we increase the VE, there will be no significant increase of the IE. Then until the VE reaches the, the point here. No? So once this point is reached, uh, as we continue to increase the VE, the, the drop across this emitter here to base 1 will decrease as the current is increasing until to this point where the current will rise now. So that is now the, the, graph, the graph of the, the uh, UJT natin. No? So okay, let's uh, uh, let's look at how this uh, UJT uh, really works. No? And let's, let's learn uh, the cutoff region, negative resistance region, saturation region, peak point, intrinsic standoff, and how to turn on and off your UJT. So first, we'll, we will need to turn on the UJT. No? So how to turn on your UJT. So to turn on your UJT, you need to apply a voltage at the emitter to base 1. So ito dito, no? maglagay tayo ng voltage dito. We will call that voltage as the VE or the emitter voltage and this current right here becomes the IE or the emitter current here. No? So kung baga nagbaliktara na yung ating graph, no? the, 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 the y-axis now is the V and the x-axis now is the E. No? Okay, so as we increase the emitter voltage, uh, there will be no significant current that could be seen in the IE, not until it reaches this point right here. So, pagdating sa point na to, this voltage will now drop as the current increases until to this point where the current will now surge into a higher value. So, that is now the, the graph of your UJT. Now, if we look at this uh, graph, we could say that at this point, uh, it reaches the peak. No? So, parang peak, no? tuk -tuk, no? So, we will call that point as the peak point. And dito naman <coughs> sa kabilang side, if you, have, if you look at this point, uh, it's like in between two mountains. Now we will call this the valley point. And valley point. 
Now, this is now your peak point voltage. This is the valley voltage. Uh, this is now the peak uh, point current. Uh, this is the valley current. So, yun na yung mga parameters na nakikita natin dito. No? Now, if you if you notice, uh, from this point here, papunta dito, there is no significant current. No? There is no significant current increase ng IE mo. No? So, kaya nga itong point na to, no? below the, the peak point, kumbaga, could be referred as the cut-off region. No? So, yun yung cut-off region ni eh? ni UJT. Now, from this peak towards the valley point, there is a current increase na and a voltage decrease. Na? So, normally, uh, we know that uh, I is equal to V over R. As current as voltage increases, current increases also. No? So, we know that direct relationship parati yan si voltage at kasi kuryente. But this at this time, they are not directly related but inversely related sila. No? As the current increases uh, here at the X axis, the current increases, the Y axis here, the voltage here drops. No? So, they are inversely related now. No? Now, if there is an inverse relationship between the voltage and the current, no? normally they are, they are what we term as directly proportional. Pag naging inversely, inversely proportional na yung kuryente at voltage mo, isang phenomenon yun sa electronics. Yung tawag natin sa phenomenon na yun is negative resistance. So kaya nga during this time of I peak to I valley, we will call this period as the negative resistance region of your UJT. And above the valley, we will now call this the saturation region because the current there is lumakas na. No? So yun yung tatlong regions of operations or operation na yung JT mo. No? The off operation which is the cut off region, the decrease of voltage or the increase in current, the negative resistance and the increase in current known as the saturation region. So kaya nga kung makikita natin dito, the only way to turn on your UJT is to reach a VE equal to the VP. Diba? So if, if we could reach this VP, then we could turn on your UJT. So how much is that VP? No? How much is that VP? No? What is that VE equivalent to VP? No? So this VP actually at that point is equal to the drop of this diode, this VD halimbawa, and the drop of this resistor. No? Uh, let's say the VRB1. If we could add this two, no? uh, the peak point voltage could be equal to the VD plus the voltage of the RB1. If we could add these two voltages together, then we could solve the voltage to turn on your UJT. So for that, uh, it's actually napaka dalila, no? Because the the VRB1, the voltage at this RB1 is basically makikita natin sa voltage divider ng VBB, VRB2, and VRB1. So with that, pwede natin sabihin na VP with this VRB1 is equal to VBB times RB1 divided by RB1 plus RB2. So pwede natin sabihin ganyan, no? And we also know that the VD, the uh, diode voltage, is just basically 0.7 volt. So, makikita natin sa formula. Actually, for, for this formula, okay na. No? We can solve the VP na, no? the peak point voltage, itong VP na to. No? But dito sa formula, meron tayong nakikita ang ratio dito ng dalawang resistors natin, no? the RB1 over the sum of RB1 and RB2. Itong tawag natin dito is actually the standoff ratio or the intrinsic standoff ratio represented by uh, symbol na parang efficiency. Eh? So, this is now the symbol for standoff ratio. So, ibig sabihin, the standoff ratio is, may rewrite natin, standoff ratio is equal to RB1 over RB1 plus RB2. So, that would be the standoff ratio. So, by knowing that the standoff ratio is ganun lang, we can also rewrite the VP equivalent to the standoff ratio times the VBB plus 0.7 volt. So, yun na yung formula natin. No? So, to solve for the voltage to trigger the UGT to turn on is to multiply the standoff ratio to the VBB plus the 0.7 drop of your diode. That would now be the peak point voltage na tinatawag natin. So, that's how it turns on. To turn off is actually really simple. Just apply a negative pulse at the emitter or apply a negative V. That would now trigger your UGT to turn off naman. So, napaka simple lang no? ng operation ng UJT. Mostly application ng UJT is uh, makikita natin silang ginagamit as relaxation oscillators no? because of their behavior to, to do this. But anyway, that's uh, beyond the scope of our discussion ngayon. So you may read this, uh, read that on the books na ni-recommend natin. Now let's move on to PUT. 
programmable UJT. Now, even though it is referred as a UJT, but the construction here is really different. No, it's not a UJT, rather it's a tire restore. No? So it's 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 really a tire restore. No, makikita natin yung simplicity dito. Uh, meron tayong tire restore na ganito, no? PN, PN. If ganito lang yung tire restore ko, that's a shockly. Lagay ko ng gate dito, that becomes uh, an SER. Lagay ko ng gate dito, that becomes an SES. Tanggalin ko yung gate na yan, that becomes a PUT. You see? That's a PUT. Huh? So, ganun lang siya ka. Simple. Okay, so the PUT, uh, if you have noticed, uh, the gate is on the anode na. No? So, if I will put it here, gate at the cathode, that could be SCS. No? Itanggalin ko yan, yung anode gate, leaving the cathode gate, that would be SCR. So, the schematic symbols could could be napakadali lang if familiar ka on how to do it. No? And always remember, marami na tayong mga schematic symbols lang na items sa board exam. No? Sayang din if you will miss those items sa board exam. No? So, the programmable UJT is a type of tire restore. And not like the UJT in terms of the construction. Kitang-kita naman natin, kaibal yung construction ng UJT. And ito yung maganda. No? A PUT is a type of three-terminal tire restore that is triggered into conduction when the voltage at the anode, like the anode to cathode voltage, exceeds the voltage at the gate. So, dun pa lang alam na natin na this is different from the SER. No? Now, si SER, you use the gate to trigger the SER to turn on. Diba? So, yun yung idea. No? You have an anode to cathode voltage na nakasupply kay SER, hindi siya nag-turn on. Tapos, you trigger it with the gate signal, nag-turn on si SER. That's the concept of the SER. Si PUT is kaiba. Si PUT is meron siyang gate bias. So, meron naka-set na voltage sa kanyang gate. As long as the anode to cathode voltage will not exceed that gate bias, then the PUT will turn off or will, will just turn off. But the moment the anode to cathode reach beyond that bias voltage, that's the time that the PUT will turn on. So, it's a different uh, concept talaga. No? That's why tinatawag siyang programmable. No? So, the gate can be biased to a desired voltage in which kung kailan mo gusto mag-turn on yung PUT mo, desired voltage, so that when the anode voltage exceeds this level na sinet mo, like tinawag ng program kasi ikaw yung nag-set ito, that's the time the PUT turns on. So, para mas maintindihan natin yan, we'll look at again the transistor configuration of your PUT and take note, this is the anode to cathode and the gate should have a fixed voltage. And if this anode to cathode will not exceed that voltage, it will remain off, not unless, or not until it will, this anode to cathode will, will go beyond the, the fixed uh, voltage here. So, para mas maintindihan natin, I have here uh, a diagram. No? Uh, meron akong PUT, tapos meron tayo naka-fix dito na voltage at the gate, uh, provided by our voltage divider. Now, as long as this V anode to cathode is hindi lumagpas dito sa ating gate voltage na to, then it will still the PUT will remain off. So once sa exit niya yon, it will remain, it will turn on. Para mas maintindihan natin yan, let's convert this into its uh, transistor configuration. Ayan, oh. So na convert na natin, no? This uh, PUT is can convert natin into its transistor configuration, the gate as at the anode. So actually, if meron tayong positive dito, ang negative dito, forward bias na yung ating PUT, but it will not turn on unless this anode to cathode na forward will exceed this value as uh, voltage here at the gate. So, para mas makuha natin yung response nito, it would look like this. No? As you increase the anode to cathode, yan, anode to cathode na yung ating uh, parameter dyan, and IA na, anode current na. No? So, this is the anode current. So, as we increase the anode to cathode, there would be no significant increase ng anode current until it reaches the peak na naman. No? So, yung peak point natin. Then, pagdating ng peak point, negative resistance will happen until it will rise the anode current. So, this is again the, ano naman to, no? So, parang, ano lang, parang replica lang ng UJT kanina, no? So, this is the peak point. And the voltage there is the peak point voltage, the current there, peak point current. And this is the valley point. Ayan. So, kitang-kita mo naman, PUT, para siyang UJT, programmable nga lang. So, we need to reach this peak point voltage in order for us to turn on the PUT. So, how, what is the what is the peak point voltage equal to? So, kung makikita natin, <coughs> this anode to cathode voltage should reach the voltage equal to this VG. And this VG is actually equivalent to, uh, if, if you could just put here VBB para mas marelate natin mamaya. No? So, it's actually the drop of this R2. 
So the VG, the voltage at this gate, is actually the drop of this R2 in which we could say na VP is equal to uh, VBB times the RB or R2 divided by the R1 plus the R2. So that could be the, the voltage drop across the R2. But that is not just your uh, needed voltage to turn on the PUT because you need to add this 0.7 volt here to turn it on. So that is 0.7 plus 0.7 volt. So that now becomes our BP which is kung iisipin mo para itong uh, similar lang talaga kay uh, UJT. No? So this could still be your standoff ratio na tinatawag natin. No? So we could still uh, create an equation here for your for your uh, PUT similar really to your UJT no? na the peak point voltage is equal to the standoff ratio times the VBB plus 0.7 volt. So that's the reason why the PUT is referred to as programmable UJT because it's it's pretty much the same as the UJT. The only difference is that you can set the voltage in which it will begin conducting. So pwede mong ma-program. No? It's like a UJT that you can program but the construction is so different because UJT is not a tire restore but the PUT is really a tire restore. No? So that's the difference between the two. Okay, so now let's move on to DC to DC choppers.